Hi, my name is Julie Winkle, and I'm a USEF hunter and equitation judge. And we have been noticing some disturbing um, methods of holding Pelham reins in the past couple of years. So I want to talk about a Pelham, how it works, and how to hold the reins today. So I want to start by talking about what a Pelham is. Uh, a Pelham is a leverage bit. And I have some examples of different Pelhams here uh, that we can start with. Uh, a Pelham works on pressure under the horse's chin, and that's where the chain comes in, the, the uh, curb chain. The longer the shank is, the more severe it is. Uh, there's a lot of different types of mouthpieces as well but I wanna concentrate on the idea of where the pressure is put on the horse's mouth when we talk about how to properly hold the reins. This is an example of a very short shank, and this is known as a Tom Thumb Pelham, uh, not as severe. And this is a different type of Pelham that has a long shank and a more severe mouthpiece but all of the Pelhams have one thing in common, and that is that the top ring acts as a snaffle rein, which is the least severe bit you can put in a horse's mouth. Okay, so we're gonna talk about fitting the Pelham now. Okay, we're gonna talk about the fit of the Pelham in a horse's mouth. And besides having a couple wrinkles in the corners of their mouth, I want to talk about the, the chain, the curb chain. When you put the curb chain on, first of all, the chain should always be rolled until it's flat against the horse's chin. If when you uh, fasten this, then you want to make sure you don't have too many loops at the end. This should be cut off if it's uh, got more than one loop because it's annoying to the horse as well as um, Another thing for a judge to catch their eye on Then this piece under here is called a lip strap. This keeps the Chain in place and it runs through the bottom ring Okay, now when we talk about pressure this top rein is your snaffle rein the top rein puts pressure on the corners of the horse's mouth, which is the most sensitive part of the horse as far as communication goes. When you pull on the bottom rein, it puts pressure on the chain under the horse's chin and causes the horse to have more irritation and it gives the more severe control to the rider. So snaffle rein, curb rein. Okay, let's start to talk about how to hold the Pelham reins correctly. And there's actually two ways that are acceptable um, as far as your hands. Either your little finger can be on the outside with your ring finger inside, or your, both your little finger and your ring, your ring finger can be on the inside. Now, the top rein, like I said, is your snaffle rein. That is your dominant rein. So the snaffle rein is always held on the outside and the curb rein, which is a thinner rein, not laced, um, is always held on the inside and has a little more slack. So you don't use the bottom rein unless you need something or you're not getting a reaction to the snaffle rein. So most of the time, the snaffle rein is your dominant rein. And the whole point of riding a horse in a Pelham is to have a horse educated and light to your snaffle rein. Now, what we've unfortunately seen way too much is the Pelham reins held backwards. And backwards meaning that the curb rein is on the outside and tighter and the snaffle reins on the inside. So this is upside down, and we see it a lot 
it puts all the pressure on the cur brain and it becomes a very severe bit. So this is not what a pelum was intended to do, and nor is it correct. So this is not classical riding. Uh, this is always proper with a snaffle rein on the outside. This is not a preference. This is in the rule book. The snaffle rein is to be held on the outside, and it is taunter with the curb rein on the inside with less pressure. I want to talk about one last thing, the bite of the reins, which is the extra part of the reins, uh, should be held on the off side, which is the right side. And it's, they're switched when you dismount or mount to the near side, which is the left side. If you're picking up pelham reins, you pick them up all together. So there's even pressure as you pick them up. Okay, so I hope uh, the video today helps clarify how to properly hold the pelham reins, why they're held like this, and we hope to see you in the ring holding your pelham reins correctly.